In today's video, we're going to be checking out the new buffed C9 class in Black Ops 6. I currently have the patch notes pulled up, as you can see for yourself. Before the patch, or before the buff, I think the gun was pretty good, but now it is actually frying. This might be the best submachine gun if it wasn't for the Tonto. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, most of the subs got a buff. Like, as you can see, most of them got a significant buff but the c9 is what we're going to be going over today i have a crazy class set up for you guys make sure to hit that subscribe button i post videos like this every single day and also like the video so it pushes the video out to other people looking for the same kind of content and we're going to jump straight into the class setup right now for you guys so starting off over on the muzzle i'm going to be going with the suppressor this is to stay off the mini map and whenever you're going on long streaks the enemy doesn't know where you're at and over on the barrel we're going to be going with a long barrel like i showed you in the beginning the damage range was uh buffed a little bit but this just adds more which is way way better in my opinion than going with a bullet velocity barrel and over on the magazine we're going to be using the fast mag 2 this is going to add reload quickness aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed it does take away five rounds from your default magazine but i think it is worth it with the reload quickness and the aim down sight speed and over on the rear grip, we're going to be using the quick draw grip. This is going to boost your aim down sight speed significantly. And over on the stock, we're going to be using the no stock. This is going to boost your hip fire movement speed, movement speed, and strafing movement speed. If you want to go ahead and copy the rest of my loadout, you can. This is probably my favorite class setup to go with on the C9. I'm probably not going to run any other class setups that I know of until like maybe they buff it more or if they nerf it again i might change a couple of attachments around depending on that if you end up trying this class setup out and you like it please let me know down in the comments now let's jump straight into the gameplay all right we're going to be using the c9 today it's a little bit different of a class setup than i have i think i've recorded with i tried to record with the lr762 but it's just not even worth it. I can't get a good gameplay with it. I've tried like seven different games. I even threw on a chopper gunner. I threw on attack helicopter. It's just, it's just not working. It's not working at all. I even forgot to take it off. Vibes are kind of low. I've been recording kind of all day. So I'm sorry about that in advance. Gonna destroy these kids on Nuketown. Probably take a little break and get Dark Matter out um, in like an hour or two. Man, my shots were bad right there. Alright, we're on a 20. This should be a new game. For sure. Yeah, they're they're definitely looking for me up top. Take 
They also need to fix the scavenger crap. Like what? I don't remember ever getting another nade whenever I hit a scav. Like when when did that start happening? Alright, let's, let's call this Harpen. We got the nuke, thank God, because that was uh, that was too long. I'm 40 and one. I got a chopper gunner. Might as well go ahead and use the chopper. I'm probably gonna die. This thing needs to be nerfed, by the way. As soon as they spawn, you're able to kill them. Doesn't make no sense. Still alive? Their whole team left? Alright, this is gonna get boring uh, for y'all, I already know, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it. But that's that's the C9. This class setup is insane. It recently got a buff too, so it made it even better. That's gonna be it. 57 and 1. GG's.